it is a Saturday, the last Saturday before the Eid, and everybody is heading to Sarakunda Banjo Brikama to get clothes for the Eid. I am driving towards Sarakunda, and hopefully, you'll be seeing a lot of people over there. So, when I get there, I'm gonna show you how the traffic is like over there. Like, I mean, people at Sarakunda. So, right now, I'm on the highway heading, like I said, to Sarakunda. So, I'm gonna put up the camera so you can see how the movement is like few days before the Eid. I mean the last weekend before the Eid. So right now I'm in Sarak I mean like Lamen.
this is not a ball control. is always clear usually during the weekend until when you get to around Taborkoto and around Latakunda that's where you experience uh, most of the traffic jam yeah. but not as uh, jam as during week uh, during the weekdays like Monday to Friday but tomorrow uh, we expect the traffic to be a little bit um, congested because it's gonna be like a day or two sorry two days before the uh, the Eid and Monday probably will be the worst day of traffic. <laughs> okay, so this is where you'll expect a uh, traffic jam. So from here all the way down to maybe uh, around the buffer zone is always jam. This is Buffer Zone. Sorry, not Buffer Zone, I mean uh, Johnson Cow.
darker so the traffic will be a little bit free from this point until you get close to maybe around Nusra Johnson or maybe Churchill's Town. That place also usually have traffic. But Nusra Johnson doesn't always have traffic though. Down, I need to decide what route to use because um, inside Serekunda, I mean, that get crazy sometimes to have parking. And I would like to do some little bit of video for you over there, like maybe uh, to just get into the crowd and show you how it's like uh, in the last weekend of the Ramadan or the last weekend before the 
speed. Uh, let me just use this other route and see if I'm gonna get parking. If not, I'm just gonna back out and then maybe use the rest of the route. I just went right across the car. I need to get parking around this area. I think it's safer to park right here. Uh, before I pass this place, I wouldn't get a, like a square away place to park. All right, so let's just walk straight uh, towards deeper down in Sarakunda. And you could see a big crowd ahead of me. One thing also around this time, a lot of thieves are also around here. <laughs> people are busy buying stuff, others are busy at, uh, dropping people to grab their items of money. Yay. So if you are coming down here, Around this time of the uh, year, where people are always full, or where Serekunda is always full, make sure you grab your items, you know, have them in a secure bag. Get it very, very secure, especially your mobile phones. And right ahead of me, in the next like 50 meters is where they have the main Brikama garage at Sarakunda. A lot of items have been sold here. A lot of vehicles, chaos over there. So you can see how jammed this park, this place is sometimes it's difficult to even have a place to move. Move about, especially when you get to around the big tree area. No, I mean the power tree area. A lot of stops there. So many noise. Everybody doing advertisement. Grabbing people's attention. You can see even if you are walking on with your foot, it's difficult to navigate the crowd. And you have not seen a crowd yet. <laughs> These ones are all jungled up with vehicles, but the, the real crowd is where people, like ladies, buy their stuff. I 
can see a lot of arguments over there. So sometimes this is what happened in the, in the Ramadan. This is around the garage area here. A lot of people will run into some arguments. Because when people are hungry, they get angry easily. You see another argument? Drivers get angry at each other, walk in traffic. Jerakunda is full of chaos, man. But the guys are making a lot of money over here because these days everybody comes out to Serekunda to buy stuff. You can see how tight it is, you know. Oh, sorry bro. Monaroma. Wow, you see, very tight. You have to find tight places to navigate around. So as you get deeper, you have a lot of crowds. Or you face with a lot of crowds. A lot of people are doing business, especially ladies stuff, go here, make maybe a greater percentage of the crowd over here, especially when I get to somewhere around that big tree area over there. Too tight. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Day, you can just fly this road like three minutes, five minutes. But during the days of heat, it takes you like maybe 10 minutes to move from one distance to another. Like this distance that I'm supposed to travel, or I could travel. Sorry. Oh. See a crowd ahead of me, I 
again. and children because they are the people that really want to come down here during Ramadan. I mean during the Eid. Wow, so you can see a lot more crowd right ahead. Mangoes, wild mangoes, mangoes for kids and ladies, cosmetic stuff right here, cosmetic stuff right here. Come on, come on, come on. So this is the main center or the middle of Sarakuna Market. Going left will take you to Bambo, right will take you to West. We're going straight will take you to the deepest part of Sarakuna, the most crowdiest part. You can see lots of um, umbrella set up over there. I'll just, I'll just try to show you a little bit of that place, but um, I definitely cannot fly that route. But I'm just gonna use the back way and then show you that side. Just to show you how karate it is. You can see lots of food stuff. All right, so you can see, I'm gonna stand here and show you how it's like deep down over there. You can see how it is very, very crowded. So, a lot of people put stall on the road so that uh, they could sell. Very busy, man. Let me move a little bit and see how it's like. After getting into the crowd, you can see a lot of stalls. Love stalls. Manya one send send the girl friend. Send the girl friend like one. And I'm going to get you how many the girl friend in Adam. Ah? Ah no, YouTube line go there. Tell her, tell her, tell her, tell her. Okay. I mean, I mean, I mean. 
Amen, amen. 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 All right, so you could see like uh, from the area outside, how it's like over here. Too many people.
Then do it fast. Get it back, get it back. Thank you. 